What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we have a very awesome mod. So I've done the El Grand Maha mod in Java. Now we have it in Bedrock and it is 10 times better than the Java edition. So if you guys enjoyed this video, smash the like button right now. Let's aim for one like. Also, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and turn on those notifications so you don't miss a video. So when I say this mod is better than the Java edition, I mean it because the Java edition... Don't get me wrong, it is a pretty cool El Grand Maha mod for Java, but Bedrock, I'm telling you right now, when you guys see El Grand Maha, you're gonna say the Bedrock edition was way, way better. So, this one, this one's actually massive, so we kind of need some water, so you know what, I'm just gonna fly all the way over here, just to spawn him in. So, are you guys ready for this? Uh, actually, you know what, I'm just gonna spawn him in on land first, and then... We'll spawn him in over in the water, just so you guys have a good look of him. So, here goes nothing, guys. In three, two, one, bam! Look at <laughs> look at this! Look at him! Oh my goodness! Ten times better, guys. <laughs> Way better. Uh, and we also have like a health bus, so we're gonna try and uh, see if we can like fight him in survival. Don't know if that's even possible, but uh, I do like him. So uh, he's obviously not let up. Uh, I was going to say landing, not moving, because he's on land. So, we might need to uh, quickly go over here next to the water and spawn him in. So, let's have a look at it. Oh my goodness, dude, he's just way too big. Wait, wait, where is he? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Yo, that is scary. So, if I just quickly jump into survival, does he come towards me? El Grey Maha, are you okay? Wait, he's not moving. Is that normal? Oh, and he's moving around. <laughs> Yo, this is so cool. Okay, um, does he attack me though? It doesn't seem like he's interested in attacking me. I'm just drowning right now. Uh, okay, we're basically like inside of it. Oh, there we go. One hit. Okay, good to know. Now, would this gear like protect us? I, I feel like it wouldn't to be honest, but we're gonna use it anyways. Uh, we have a bow, we have enchanted apples. Oh, we are set. So here goes nothing. Now I need to go all the way over there. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I should have just set my uh, spawn point. You know what? I might actually do that. So, if I just quickly... Here we go. Now, where's the one on land? Oh, there he is. Dude, he is massive. Um, okay. So, set world spawn points. There we go. Uh, do we attack the one on land? Mm, probably not. Okay, it's going to be kind of difficult with the water one, but... I mean, oh my goodness, dude, look at his eyes. He's like glowing and everything. All right, here we go. Let's attack him. Does that even... That's not going to work, is it? There's not... Wait, I did actually hit him. Oh my goodness, dude, he's way too big. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm too scared to do this. Wait, where's the health on this one? Uh, it doesn't show the health anymore. Okay, hey, get away from me. Get away. We're trying to fight El Grand Maha, and I just missed my arrow. Uh... There we, there we go. Perfect. All right, where is he? He's so big that I can't even see him anymore. Uh, you know what? We might need to go up here. Oh, there, wait. I see him. I see him. He's on the move. He is on the move. Where do you think you're going, buddy? Wait. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Yo, this is so cool. All right. Uh, can I, can I do this? I don't think I can do this, guys. This is way too hard. Maybe I might need to do this in creative or like fight the one on land. Uh, I don't even know. Oh, I'm kind of hidden. Dude, where's his hitbox? This is pretty much impossible. You know what? Let's fight the one on land. Because this one's not moving. And, dude, the mouth is massive. Alright, here we go. Oh, there's his hitbox. I found it, guys. I found it. So, hang on. Yeah, we might need to be, uh, in creative for this. But, wait, what? Oh, okay. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't put the E down for some reason. But, alright, let's spawn... The one on land again, just so we can kind of like have a look of him. Because uh, the water one, <laughs> a little bit too hard. Alright, here we go. So his hitbox is very, very small. Is that... Wait, that is his... Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. So you have to... Okay. So you have to hit it like kind of up. You can't hit it like below it. Okay, good to know. And it is actually possible. So hang on. So if I do enchant at a sharpness 5. Okay, just so we can get some more damage. What if we do like a little uh, critical hit? Okay, it's doing, it's doing something. It's still quite a lot of health, not gonna lie. You know what? We might need to get some TNT. 
TNT, and then we'll get some flint. Actually, I probably should do the command, which might lag the game, but um, it is much better. So here we go, squiggly little lines, and then we do like 10 by 10 by 10, and then we do TNT. Oh my god, oh, dude, it's basically inside of him. Okay, you know what? Let's just do it with that. Here we go. Let's light him up. Let's light him up. All right, here we go. Oh my god. Dude, it's basically eating a TNT. And... Are you joking? His health barely went down. <laughs> what? Okay, so it's pretty much impossible is what I'm hearing. Well, from TNT anyways. I mean, I could just sit inside of his mouth here. And just keep on whacking him. Oh, hang on, where's the hitbox? There we go. All right, you know what? Let's do a little uh, speed through this. Because I might be here for a good solid like two minutes. So let's speed through it and uh, see if he drops anything or if anything happens. Alright guys, we're getting very close. A few more hits. A few more hits. And... Okay. So it is possible, however... A little bit hard in survival. A little bit hard. Uh, where's the other one? Oh. Wait. How did he die? <laughs> you know what? Okay, wait. Hang on. What if I just spawn in a bunch of them, right? Oh, this might actually lag my game. I, I don't know. It's actually good so far. Alright, here we go. Let's just cover the whole entire ocean with El Gran Maha. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Here we go. Alright, let's look up. Let's have a look. Oh my goodness. Wait, what? What have I done? Oh wait, there, there's too many. There is way too many. Look at them. Oh my goodness. Um, Now, the only good thing about the Java edition uh, with El Gran Maha is basically it does have like a... um. How do I explain it? Like a kill kind of effect to it. It basically like rips off its tail and like does like a little tornado thing and like tries to attack you, which is pretty cool. So this one doesn't, but if I had to like, I guess, uh, you know, compare it with the, the models of it, this one is by far a hundred times better. So definitely, um, you know, check this out for yourself if you guys want. Very, very cool mod. Uh, now... Should we just get rid of them? <laughs> I think we might need to just get rid of every single one because there is way <laughs> too many of them. Um, yeah, kind of hard to, you know, attack in the water as well. So it's kind of better when they're on land, but obviously they're they're not meant to be on land. Uh, but yeah, look how massive it is. I, I love it. All right, guys. Well, that is pretty much it for the El Gran Maha mod. If you guys enjoyed, definitely go ahead, slap a like. Um, also subscribe. I mean, if you haven't already... What are you doing? <laughs> uh, and also turn on those notifications so you don't miss a video. All that good stuff. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. See ya.